Hi, I'm Curly Sue and if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, welcome to Curly Sue's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a nice dish for you. It's vegan meatballs with carrot mash and some microgreens and some gravy as well. All vegan, all with a Caribbean Jamaican influence and really tasty and it's actually not that difficult to make and it's also really cheap in terms of the cost for the ingredients because most of this you probably have lying around your cupboard anyway so it's convenient to make it as well but not only that it's it's a really inexpensive dish to make as well but it looks fun it looks tasty it is tasty and we're gonna make it now so let's get on with our vegan meatballs and carrot mash So for the vegan meatballs, first of all, you're going to need one can of cannellini beans, which are like a white bean. Now, if you haven't got cannellini beans, you can use any white bean. You could use butter beans or whichever white beans you have. So they need to be pre-soaked and cooked for this recipe. So if you have the dried ones, then just give them a, a cook them first of all, and then get on with the rest of the recipe. So you're also going to need half a cup of plain flour, half a small onion, one clove of garlic, a thumb sized piece of ginger, one teaspoon mixed herbs, half a tablespoon Caribbean season oil, one tablespoon low salt soy sauce or coconut amino, and also one tablespoon of wet Jamaican seasoning. If you don't have any, there's a link in the description which will show you exactly how to make it. It's super quick, it's super easy and it's the ingredients you probably have in your kitchen anyway. So those are all the ingredients, so let's get on with making the meatballs first of all. So what you first of all need to do is preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit or gas mark 4. Drain and wash the cannellini beans and then drain them again and then mash the beans with um, a fork or a potato masher until they're quite well mashed. Then finely chop the onion, garlic and ginger and add that to the mixture and the wet Jamaican seasoning. Add the flour, chopped onion, garlic and ginger, soy sauce and Caribbean seasoning all to the mashed beans and stir. Mix this all together until it's well combined and then you're going to take tablespoons of the mixture and roll them into balls and gently fry them for about five minutes just so that it browns on the outside and then transfer that to a baking tray because you're going to finish it off in the oven for about 20 minutes until golden brown. Now when you're rolling them in balls if they happen to be a little bit sticky just add a tiny little bit of flour and it should be fine. And that's how you make the balls, the meatballs. For the gravy that you're going to use for the meatballs, you're going to need one sprig of thyme, one spring onion or scallion, one small onion, half a red pepper, a quarter of red pepper, a quarter of green pepper, and a quarter of yellow pepper, two tomatoes, one clove of garlic, a quarter of a cup of ketchup, tomato sauce, a quarter of a cup of sweet chili sauce, one teaspoon of mixed herbs, a pinch of salt, and a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning like the Jamaican one. So finely chop all of the thyme, onion, spring onion, red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, tomatoes, and garlic. So chop all of those really finely. You can whiz it in the um, food processor if you like. Heat one tablespoon of um, oil and lightly fry all of the veg for about three or four minutes. Then add one cup of water, then you add the ketchup, the sweet chili sauce, the black pepper, mixed herbs and salt and stir that really well. Then add a tablespoon of the all-purpose seasoning, cover and reduce to a medium to low heat and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And once you've done that, it will be ready and you can either leave it as it is, some people like it with the, 
nice chunks in it or if you want a smoother gravy whiz it in a blender and then you have your smooth gravy and you can store it in the fridge if you have some left over as well and for our carrot mash you're just going to need a pound in weight of carrots um, one to two tablespoons of unsalted butter if you have but if not regular butter is fine one teaspoon of garlic powder granules or if you don't want to use the garlic powder granules you can just use half a clove or one clove small clove of garlic finely grated and salt and pepper to taste so first of all you're going to wash and scrub the carrots or actually you can just peel them depending on your preference chop the carrots into small cubes and bring a large pot of water to the boil boil the cubes for about 15 to 20 minutes or until when you put a fork in they're soft and tender once the carrots are cooked drain the water from the pot and add the carrots back to the pot and mix in the butter salt and pepper and garlic powder mash the carrots using a hand masher or fork until the carrots are evenly mixed if you prefer the extra smooth kind of consistency use an immersion blender or food processor until the carrots reach your desired consistency and divide evenly sprinkle with salt and pepper again and enjoy and then all we're going to do after that is assemble our dish so now we're going to plate the dish so we're going to put some pea shoot greens in the middle like that. and then we're going to do the mash carrot mash on one side it's really nice and creamy so you just use vegan butter and that's what veganizes it really just load it up here and then on the other side we're going to put the meatballs of the gravy them in strategically so this is more of a home cook way that you plate it maybe or it could be restaurant style actually the way this is turning out and just enough to fill up that side and I think we need a little more of the micro greens Shoots. Put a bit more of the pea shoots in the middle there. It's always good to have a splash of colour. Just add some gravy. And that is our meatballs, vegan meatballs with carrot mash. So this is the vegan meatballs with some pea shoots, microgreens and some carrot mash. So let's have a taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. It is delicious. You have to try this. So this is a more of a restaurant style plating. As you can see it's the exact same ingredients, just plated differently. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click and subscribe, hit the red button and turn on the notification bell so you'll see more videos just like this one. Eat good, eat clean, eat blessed. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.